Hello once again, thank you for joining me in yet another episode for Beginner in Web Design series. Today I'm going to be, in this video, we are going to be immersing deep into the design section. We've already done all the configuration, all the installation that is required for us to have a website to be up and running. We have uh, from the previous videos, if you've not watched them before, please just go back, watch them and then come and continue with this series from this episode. But um, so far we've already identified what areas we wanted to work on. We've already installed those plugins that are required. Primarily we wanted to work with Elementor with its other accompanying toolkits, which we have already installed. And we've already gone ahead and installed something called the, the template uh, kit, which we've already worked on it. So now just to see, the previous website was like this. Now, if we reload it, um, it's going to be looking like this, just to ensure that we have already, you see even the, the, the styling has already changed the color from black, now it is somehow, somehow purple. So we wanted to, you see, the styling of the color has already changed. See even this one. It's worth noting that for the Elementor template kit to work with your website, in your website, you need to ensure that you have a template theme that also is compatible with Elementor template kit. So we are going to go to appearances, themes, and then we will install a theme that has minimal features that is going to be easy to work with the template kit that we've already worked on. So I'll go to add new, and the template that we usually use, most of us, most of people who will work with it is Hello Elementor. So you install Hello Elementor. This theme has nothing in it, just simple framework that is easy to be uh, configured with the template kit that we've, we've worked on. Other people use Astra. For me, I use, I use Hello Elementor. It's very simple, easy. The CSS, they are easily configured with that. So now when you install the theme, you see even the, the design will change automatically. It's just a blank thing. So it shows you see her archives, nothing is there. So with reference to the template kit that we've already downloaded, this is how it looks like. But now we want to install it here to ensure that all these pages, the content that is here is also migrated here because this is a different link and this is where we are we are working from. So I'll start by going to template theme builder. So in templates, go to theme builder. And then under theme builder, go to your header because you always, you always have to ensure that your header is there. So you have to add new header. So you must put a header there. We'll work on the header. Then we'll go to the footer and then we'll go to the pages so that you can be able to have this because what you have here is header then down here we have uh, we have uh, we have what we have footer this one and then all these are the content that are inside the pages so now that we are here header we go to my templates and then we have to look for something called header which is here remember this template is in the template kit that we had downloaded before. So if you come to download, uh, downloads, if you come to downloads, this is the theme, and then you go to templates, you'll find that these are the JSON scripts that are there. And you'll find that there is one called header. So header is somewhere, you see this one, this is header. So that is what is part of the template kit that you had downloaded and installed here in the template kit. So install this one. Also ensure that, uh, just close these things. So ensure that everything is done, everything is good. So just publish this one. Add condition to be viewed in the entire site. Don't add any other condition. Don't say exclude, they say just say include in entire site so that each page that will be opened will be having this header, okay? So now that we've done that, now let's go back to exit, apply. Uh, let me see what's, okay, update first, exit. Go back to that theme builder. 
So we have header. Uh, so we have header. Now what you need, you see this is the header. We've already added it here. If you want to edit it, sorry, why am I clicking that? We've already added it there. So I need to check something called uh, footer. So footer, we go to footer, which is here. And then come to add new, which is new footer, Elementor footer 112. So go to my templates, then look for footer. Footer is somewhere here. Look for it. It's here. It's just above the header. Install it as well. And you see it's already coming down here. Now this is the time that you, when you're doing this, you can also edit it. Elementor is allowing you possibilities, options to actually uh, add condition the entire site, like the header, the way you did it, and that's it. And then come back here, then do exit. When you come here, you see templates. We have several templates. These are coming from the template kit that we already did. Now, when you come to this site, you know that there is home, there is doctor, there is service. We just want to do that. So that step by step, copy everything the way it is manually. You cannot do it automatically. We've already installed it. Now we have to do it manually. So where you know there is something called home. So you go to pages. From the introduction of WordPress, we talked about posts and then we talked about pages. Remember when you are deleting all these sections because we want to only have content that we have created on our own. So come here and then add a new page and then give it the name home and then under the page attributes, default template, make element a full width and then publish it. So it will be like that and then go to edit with Elementor. When you edit with Elementor, you are moving away from the classic editor to Elementor, which can be able to allow you to do a lot of things. So here you have four options. We have this one for adding col col containers or columns. This one is for adding template. This is for element site kit. And then this is for AI, you know, artificial intelligence is also in Elementor. So you go to this one for templates, the second one, which is specifically for templates, and then go to my templates. Then find a page called, a template called home, which is here. You can preview it to see how it looks like, but because it's the only home that you have here as your templates, you just insert it. So you insert it. <coughs> it will take a few minutes, few seconds to load, to upload everything, and then that's it. So it's getting all those files that are from this template kit, the way it looks like it's going to be implemented here. So it takes a, a couple of uh, seconds to do that, maybe a minute or two. But once it's done, you just come here on the bottom corner here at the left and then do publish. So you can scroll, you see everything is here. Anything that is missing can be added uh, as you proceed with the design. So you see now we have almost the entire page. So you say update, just select that update option there and it's going to be there. Okay, then after you do that, go to exit. And then this is the same, same procedure that you're going to do for these other, other pages, all these other pages. So at this particular juncture, I'm going to fast forward this video as I do the others, which is, I'll just look at it, doctors, So worth noting when you when you see you see the, the, the way this page looks like up here there is something like blog behind here. So how you fix it, you just come to this settings, settings wheel here, then go down, go to this page layout, elementor, full width. 
the same same procedure that you did when you are creating the page and then it will be able to update it so publish it because we had not yet published it we just created without publishing it yet and you see that b that was behind there is already gone so now you wait for it to upload to publish and then it's done so you can go back and exit page so as you can see we've already done what you wanted to do we've created pages these pages are about blog contact doctors home and services i didn't want to put portfolio tes testimonials pricing all these other things because they can as well be incorporated in these other pages they can be incorporated in services they can be incorporated under the different other sections and also maybe some other companies depending on the type of company that you're doing with they do not have those kind of content so they just want to put a site that has the home about services and then contact and then news updates so that is what we we've done here so far in the next video i'm going to be taking you through how to do menus how to ensure that the website now is going to work and ensuring that the home page is done properly see you in the next episode